Farley Tire Shop. <laughs> Anything you need tire wise, this man has been proof. I'm gonna have to buy it. <laughs> here to tell you about how crappy track day was yesterday for me for me i could not get this car to cooperate any and everything i tried just didn't work before the video starts i have to tell you guys like what exactly happened that made yesterday crappy so first um first pass all day i go down on street tires because the trans anybody who has this a8 transmission from gm if you have that dreaded shutter, stutter, whatever you want to call it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so, the trans was real finicky all day yesterday. And I was like, I don't even know if I want to run this thing. But, you know, I'll try it. So, I went down on street tires the first time. And the car did fine. It spun, but, it, you know, it did fine. So, I was like, okay, let's go to the next part. Well, after that, I'm like, okay, it's fine. So, put the tires on the car that I borrowed from Stormy. Um, if you don't know who Stormy is, Stormy is the Silver V. I borrowed her Nittos. So, I think it's a she. I think he refers to her as a she. Anyway, I borrowed the tires off the V. And um, first pass, I got, I backed into the water box and the car would not push through to do a burnout to save my life. But I watched the guy spray water in the box. And then the guy in the lane next to me, my buddy Morgan was like, Bro, there was no water in that box. So I want to know where the guy sprayed water at. Because I saw him spraying water in my reverse camera as I was backing into the water box. So that was the first thing. So I ended up just doing like a little rolling burnout and staging. So I stage. Um, the lights drop. Lights drop. And we both leave extremely hard. Like I've never felt that car leave that hard before car did good me and him out the hole were side by side yet his car is faster than mine so when we launched together like that i was like okay this is gonna be a good pass all the way to the top of first it was good second gear we're side by side and i don't shift my car on the track it shifts itself so right at the top of second gear it just pings the rev limiter like never before has my car just hit the rev limiter and I let out of it, obviously. And I try to shift it myself because the car still doesn't shift. And I couldn't even manually shift it out a second. So I had to coast to the rest of the track, like to the end of the track. And it wouldn't come out of gear. So I, I say screw it and I'm gonna make one more pass. We line up and the car builds boost. It's not trying to push through and we leave. The car spins so bad out of the hole. I let out, I stick it again, and it starts going. This time, it gets to the top of second, it shifts, but all the power just felt like it, fall, it fell off. Like the nose of the car just dropped. So now I'm just like, whatever, I'm, I'm through. So all of yesterday was basically me just fighting the car. Then I get home, I pull the logs off of it just to see why it was driving so crazy. And apparently this new tune, my torque management is still like, factory setting 
So yesterday, I'm not sure if that played a part in it because my torque management has never been completely on. It's like, it was limited, but it was never like off. So I'm assuming that that's what it was. So I've already emailed my tuner and I'm sure he can fix that for me, but I'm really just gonna think it was torque management yesterday that because when the car did run good, it just nosed over. So I'm assuming that my torque management kicked in and this new torque management is crazy because it does way too much and it will kill a pass. So yesterday, all yesterday, you know, it didn't go too well, but everybody else, you know, for the most part, seemed to enjoy themselves. So I'm just going to make the video of everybody else enjoying themselves. And I'm going to be here trying to figure out why my car is doing this. Granted, I don't care too much. I mean, the car ran slower times yesterday with way more stuff done to it than last year. But then again, that's kind of how it goes with you know new tune new changes to the car so i'm not too upset and it's a daily so it's not gonna be so fast but i know it's faster than that so here's everybody else enjoying themselves guys and i'll catch you later <laughs> Hi, friend. <laughs> hey, the far side is kind of slick, so. Yeah, I'm a fan of mine. I hit the ball once, my favorite part, man. That's what Morgan said. Morgan was like, I'll just let out. Yeah, it's not I'll that serious. Out. Oh, man. I can't have really that many people up here. Huh? I can't believe really that many people up here. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> me neither.
Seven nine for the vet. Eight six for the marrow at eighty one. Six miles per hour. 